Let's consider the following quantum state. Cat Psi 1 being 1 over square root of 3 cat plus plus i square root of 2 over square root of 3 cat minus so what would be a normalized quantum state that is orthogonal to it I'll define a general quantum state cat phi 1 given by a cat plus plus b cat minus I impose uh, the orthogonality condition which is bra psi 1 cat phi 1 it must be 0 this is the orthogonality condition okay um, then let's calculate this inner product following that uh, rules we've learned in the previous videos we have here 1 square, square root of 3 bra plus minus i square root of 2 square root of 3 bra minus that multiply our general cat phi 1 a cat plus plus b cat minus equal to 0 now here not that I changed the sign of this number this term here because we have a complex number involved I'll multiply term by term here we have 1 square root of 3 a bra plus cat plus the second multiplication gives us uh, plus 1 square root of 3 b bra plus cat minus minus i square root of 2 square root of 3 a bra minus cat plus and the last term will be minus i 2 2 3 um, b minus minus it should be equal to 0 as we discussed before this term is 0 this term is 0 it should be equal to 1 for the same reason 1 then we end up with 1 over square root of 3 a minus i square root of 2 over square root of 3 b equal to 0 we can simplify it and get a equal to i square root of 2b this equality says that any pair of a and b that obeys this relationship will give us an orthogonal cat phi 1 for simplicity let's assume b equal to 1 it implies in a equal to i square root of 2 therefore our orthogonal quantum state cat phi 1 will be equal to i square root of 2 cat plus plus cat minus however we need to find the orthonormal quantum state up to now we found an orthogonal quantum state then we need to normalize this quantum state so then I'll introduce here one normalization constant i square root of 2 cat plus plus cat minus then I'll take the complex conjugate of this 
get phi 1 to get the bra phi 1 c star minus e square root of 2 bra plus plus bra minus and then we are ready to calculate this inner product between cat phi 1 with itself and set it equal to 1 in order to get the normalization constant which will normalize our quantum state cat phi 1 so we can calculate that multiplying term by term we have 2 bra plus cat plus plus i square root of 2 cat minus sorry bra minus cat plus minus i square root of 2 bra plus cat minus and the last term plus minus minus equal to 1 here we already know this term 0 this is 0 this must be equal to 1 must be equal to 1 and uh, it brings us to c c star 2 plus 1 equal to 1 uh, c squared 3 equal to 1 okay c equal to 1 square root of 3 um, then our normalized quantum state cat phi 1 will be 1 over square root of 3 that multiplies i square root of 2 cat plus plus cat minus okay that's our normalized quantum state which is orthogonal to our quantum state cat phi 1 sorry cat psi 1 we can check if in fact this quantum state cat phi 1 found here is orthogonal to our initial cat psi 1 so all we need to do is to calculate this in a product and see if this is equal to zero if we get our final answer for this inner product right here equal to zero it means that this cat phi 1 is orthogonal to our cat psi 1 so we can calculate it uh, 1 square root of 3 I mean writing down here my uh, bra psi 1 uh, minus i square root of 2 over square root of 3 bra minus that multiply 1 over square root of 3 um, i square root of 2 get plus plus 1 over square root of 3 get minus let's see um, let's multiply term by term I will skip some steps here I'll put 1 over square root of 3 in evidence and then we have for the first term I square root of 2 the second term will give us no contribution due to the orthogonality condition I'm not gonna write it down the same thing for this it will give us a zero and then minus uh, i square root of 2 this is the multiplication of this term here with the last one right here as we can see the terms and parentheses uh, are equal which gives us zero which means that cat phi 1 is orthogonal to the cat psi 1 now 
Given a quantum state, you already know how to find a quantum state orthonormal to it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.